but what you <coughs> what i found i got to the point was that it was difficult to deal with was the uh, sort of the continuous uh, you know allegations and continuous noise around the same things the Rajiv Bansal separation and the Panaya this and the David Kennedy that and over and over and over again uh, repeating the same things, getting them investigated multiple times from different organizations. And at some point you realize that this is taking a heavy toll on the organization, it is taking a heavy toll personally and uh, uh, so I just felt that uh, I, you know, it is an untenable situation and I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, uh, it is also in the company's interest that uh, with this kind of a change, we can make a fresh beginning and uh, and start all over again. So I got to that point a few days ago and uh, uh, Sage has been here in, in California um, on a on some personal uh, matter and uh, uh, so Sage and I spent a few times uh, talking about this and I spoke to Ravi and uh, several of our board members and uh, Finally, earlier today, we came to this conclusion and the board uh, proposed that I stay on as executive vice chair to help with the transition and have ensured that the, the team is well established, that the continuity and the, uh, in the succession, that the uh, business does not suffer and, and, and so forth. And so I am uh, really honored to do that. And uh, so, so effective today, Praveen is the managing director and CEO on an interim basis and uh, I'm going to become executive VC, executive vice chair, 